That was a long day. Like 30 hours, something like that. All the bags in it, gun made it, so we're in business. It's gonna be a good day tomorrow. We're the opening morning, driving to Stag camp, gonna be a fun day. Long day in the car, but it's uh, gonna be a good day. You made it to Mongolia. <laughs> now we're making French press coffee, so that's how we roll. Dude, that was a journey. 40 hours of traveling. I'm glad it's over. It's a narrow stack. He's huge. I was almost speechless after it happened. It's just a beautiful Merrill stag. It's a really a cool experience. We flew halfway around the world to get here, like a 40 hour trip between the plane and the car. And uh, it was worth every every minute of it. Just blessed to be here. And it's not, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Yeah, one down. Here you go.
of our first road casualty of the trip. So par for the course, but uh, heading to Gobi Ibex area today. Got another long 10 hour drive. <laughs> Probably be longer than that, but nice to get back in the car for a little bit. But uh, it's gonna be a long day. And we'll be mountain hunting tomorrow. So it's gonna be a good day. to a new area after we left. We're seeing much action at that last glassing place. The guys spotted three more billies over here. So we hopped on the motorbikes, which was a lot of fun. And uh, B-tail over here, put some optics on them and see what we're looking at. Hopefully there's a mature billy in the group we can take a shot at today. Aaron! Yeah, buddy! You crushed him, dude! Did you see it hit? Perfect shot right in the shoulder! Dude! We did it. Big Billy down. You know, the whole adventure and being here and being here with friends and doing this. And this is just the, the extra added bonus to take home uh, with or without it. It still would have been an awesome trip, but uh, just cool to take an old guy like this off the mountain. The adventure is still going to continue. We are headed back on a 13, 14 hour drive in the car over some rugged roads back to Ulaanbaatar. Spend the night at the hotel for, get a good meal and uh, rest up for the plane ride to Altai camp where we're gonna hunt Altai Ibex. And that's the last thing on our list. And uh, the adventure will continue. style so there's that same horses yesterday someone else got bucked off yesterday our horses are good thank god but uh, it's a beautiful clear day it's cold 
but uh, we're gonna go up in the mountain for the whole day and uh, make something happen, find a Billy and uh, get this adventure done. Stop now. Yeah. Shoot. Behind. You shoot all. You hit first. I hit him? Yeah. Hit. Wounded. We need to go. We need to go now. How far? I don't know. Man. Just try and put one in him, dude. Yeah! <laughs> hey. Okay. <laughs> we pulled off the hat trick, three for three this trip. Let me just tell you that the uh, adventure ended on a adrenaline rush filled note. I've had a phenomenal time. I, I've been blown away by Mongolia, the hospitality of the people, just how great everything was. We've seen seen the whole country pretty much by by car and plane. Yep. Um, I think about five days of hunting, five days of travel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's some good 10, 12 hour days in a car, but days like today, this is why it's all worth it. People ask us why we do what we do and go places we go. This is why right here. This the friendships you make, the time you get to spend up in the mountains, just enjoying God's country. And there's just nothing better than it. Thank you, brother. Thanks, Dallas. It's been an awesome trip. Yep. So I promised my girls that I would say, hey, McKenna, hey, Elizabeth, uh, daddy's all done hunting now. So <laughs> I'll be home in a couple of days.